How are you doing today? Hey, I'm good. Well, congratulations on season three. I know the trailer just recently dropped two for it for you guys, but, you know, unfortunately we didn't see, you know, much of you guys. So what can you tell me about season three and what can we expect from your characters this season? I mean, yes, we are very cruddy forward uh, because we know what the people want. But uh, for me, Harper is going to be having a good time. Maybe she's dating. Maybe she's dealing with some old family trauma, but in like the goofiest way. Uh, but just like a lot of fun for Harper. I think for my character, it's just a lot of growth, like leaning towards the end of the season. Um, she's going through, they're just more like addressing the family struggles and, you know, the vulnerability of Millicent. And I really appreciate that. So I'm hoping that people can really relate to my character. And for you guys too, you speak a lot. Obviously, you guys are touching on the family kind of struggles and dramas that'll be um, touched upon this season. But for you guys, building the chemistry and bond since season one, how have you guys seen that kind of change for you two um, over the seasons? I feel like we've just grown stronger. Like all of our relationships have just become more and more close. Um, yeah, we love to gossip. We love to <laughs> hike. Uh, we go to concerts. Like we do hang out outside of work. And I think that helps a lot. But also instantly when I met Jaden and everyone in the cast, it really did feel like a big family. And um, yeah, we just know more about each other now. But the the warmth and the rapport has always been there. Yeah. And do you think you find yourself a lot more comfortable being willing to kind of, as you as you guys have said, like a little bit more goofier in this third the third season? I feel like since the beginning, we've <laughs> always just been our natural silly selves around each other. And I think that having a space where we can be ourselves with our creative minds and our um, our silliness is is a blessing, to be honest. Yeah, you're going to see us jump the shark a little bit. I think this is the most like the original show as it comes to gags that we've done thus far. Uh, there's some really big gags, there's some really weird stuff. You know stuff is gonna be catching fire. Um, <laughs> all amidst a, a love triangle, so good stuff. And then also for you guys, you know, was there anything when you're reading the scripts for this season that kind of shocked you that you're like, oh, I didn't think my character would be able to do this this season? Or, you know, was there a gag that you're like, I cannot wait to like actually do this on screen? There definitely was for me, which I can't exactly say what they are <laughs> um, because of spoiler reasons. But I think that this season is extremely fun and there's a lot of physical bits and everything. So I, I was really, really excited reading the script. Yeah, I get to do a lot of weird stuff with food and uh, Harper usually is the one who stays pristine. She never has anything happen to her. So Harper gets her hands dirty a little bit this season. And I did some stuff that really reminded me of like one of my favorite multicams, which is Martin, like the Martin Lawrence show. And you know how he like, he had a fake dog once and was like interrogating people with it. Like I get to do some goofy stuff like that this season. So I was really excited. And do you find that like a little bit more, because as you said, you're doing a lot more nonverbal, especially with the comedies and these, a lot of the gags and stuff. Did you find that to be a little bit of any, at any time, a little bit of a struggle, or has it just been for both of you very naturally easy from day one? I mean, in the beginning, it was a little challenging. And then after a while, you just get more comfortable. Um, I would say physical bits. Actors joke about this because you'll see something on television and it'll look very simple. Like maybe they're walking and they're talking or maybe they're like turning on a dishwasher. But in reality, some of that stuff can be so hard because you're thinking about sound. You're thinking about, oh, I have to act like I'm yelling now, even though there's no reason to be yelling. Like so with the physical bits and I'm like trying to like. I'll say this, I can't say much about it, but there was one time I went back to my trailer and uh, I was getting dressed, like changing out of the shooting clothes and uh, or wardrobe and grapes were falling out of my bra. So uh, <laughs> we have things to look forward to. <laughs> Listen, we keep a lot of things in our bras, but grapes should not be something that is going to be yeah. in your bras. <laughs> <laughs> and also i like that you touched upon that about how even though you're doing these physical bits there's still a lot of thought process that goes into it does that also lean towards improvising for you guys as well yeah i feel like improv is a big factor when it comes to icarly especially um we're just we're just really glad that we have the ability to be able to do improv and put in our own lines and our own um maybe they told us to stand here but we feel like it feels more comfortable for the camera to stand over here it's just to be able to have that option is amazing and we're so grateful for the writers and the directors and everyone who works um on set and i would say that 
the writers contribute a large a large amount to this too because like i don't i don't like to be like oh yeah it was all me now there's definitely been a bunch of a few quite a few lines that uh, i was like her i feel like she would do this but the writers are very creative and also they I, we've spent time with the writers a lot of them know us and so it feels very fun when you read a script and there's like a bit that's from your own life that the writers have now incorporated into the script. Uh, I host a podcast called Scam Goddess. And then <laughs> in one episode, I was listening to a podcast. It's a sand episode yeah. uh, called Scam Empress. <laughs> and so, you know, they'll do like little bits like that with us that I think is really sweet. We have a great relationship. Well, that's awesome. Well, once again, guys, thank you so much for speaking with me today. And congratulations on the third season. I can't wait for people to see it. Thank, Thank you. you.